want to talk about autism. Um, my daughter Zoe has autism, and when she was diagnosed, uh, within a month I'd actually deployed to a man. Um, because we were doing fine in the Philippines, we were taking over, but everything become more uh, critical. Because my concern was, what if something happened to me? So I went to a man and made a lot more money so that we could develop things faster and make sure it doesn't matter where we are, we're secure and safe. Um, but at the same time, it was a very hard time for me because the kids seem, you know, they're at that age where they know you're not there. Um, so it's quite a difficult thing for me. But at the same time now, being back with a family, it's you realize why you did all this. Anyway, so the first thing with autism is needs early intervention. And we, we had a local school in Talise that were very, very good. Um, it's not cheap, it's not free. Um, but at the same time, Zoe came on leaps and bounds um, because it was like, they start you off on a one-to-one -one and then they go on to a, uh, four students to one teacher and Zoe developed very quickly and the funny thing is even Ubi went to school there he started school at two years old um, because he was already picking up what the kids had there so they asked if he wanted to stay and he started school at two but anyway Zoe's autism is purely visual um, and communication speech she doesn't talk to you too much or she didn't used to uh, her writing, she was reading and writing um, at a very, very high level at a very young age. I mean, she's still very young now, but she reads and understands things very well. Um, she draws like crazy. Um, the, the, I mean, there must be about 200 drawings at the moment because every day she comes in and does uh, sketches. But the fact is... I changed my whole thing around the family because we could have ticked over for the next 20 years, no problem. But I was worried about what if happened, something happened to me, but also Zoe, now that we, she's got um, autism, how can I help as much as possible? Where, you know, money is no object, we'll do whatever it takes. And she's coming on leaps and bounds. But the reason I wanted to highlight this is because people don't really talk about autism. It's seen as a bad thing. It's seen as um, something that isn't right. But I'll be honest with you. I was probably one of those people, but not because I'm negative about it. I just don't uh, interface with um, people with any uh, conditions. That, you know, be it a learning difficulty, physical disability, it doesn't matter. I generally don't interface with people because I don't work in that environment. I don't see many people with um, different conditions um, or learning difficulties, whatever people want to call it these days. So I, for me, it was quite difficult initially because it's not something I'm used to. I, you know, I don't have um, any of these issues normally in my life. So um this is why i'm quite happy to talk about it today because i know for uh, as being a father that somebody else might be in the same situation and they might want somebody to talk to that's been exactly the same where it's like well hang on a minute you know because it's it's a little bit strange initially but i'll be honest with you you know zoe's fine she's you know She's difficult to talk to, but everything else, she's 100% at the moment. And I expect the talking is going to continue to improve over time because before she didn't talk. Now she'll come in and tell you she wants water. She'll come in and want, tell you she wants to eat food and tell you what she exactly what she wants. Um, but, you know, that general communication talk is still, still not 100%, but at least every day is a step and i just want to make people aware that um, there is other people out there going through the same uh, difficulties on a daily basis but it 
there's nothing wrong with it. You know, this is part of life. You know, uh, being a good parent is being able to support your kids.